The entire movie is is steeped in genuine performances from people. I mean, it's it's unbelievable to see how everyone is so natural and everyone feels like Baltimore. It's a fictional tale inspired by a relationship that I had with my one of my uncles when I was a kid. Well, what, what attracted me to the movie was the, the passion that the director had. He had a vision about what he wanted to do. And I saw his reel before I saw the script. I was so impressed with his reel that I said, wow, he's got a terrific eye. And I really, when I read the script, I was like, man, this is a really great story. It's a great, like, a project for me to embark on. He gave me the script, I read the script, and I said yes. It was just really fun just working with all these people, and it was a great experience. It's uh, a really good cast, and I think the film is going to turn out excellent, even though I haven't seen it yet. Common is, he's the man. He's hes great at his music, and he takes the, his, his film and his work just as serious as music. You know, it's all about sharing the experience in the theater and that's what movies are about and it's like a sacred place and and the fact that there's gonna be like 1300 people here is pretty crazy it's a relationship movie about family about how you integrate your family of origin with your with your with the choices you make as an adult and when I started writing the screenplay I decided that I was gonna write it with someone and I first uh, worked on the story with um, with Alex and Alexia, and then Alexia and I just sat down and wrote the screenplay. So. Okay, well, Julie has been a long, long friend. We've done a bunch of movies together. We were here in 1994 with a short that we wrote and started together. We're in Utah. Utah's the pornography capital of America. There's none in the movies. I play Mingus, a guy who's in love with Julie Delpy. I'm a writer, a broadcaster, I have a radio show, and I live in a village. I'm like the coolest cat in the world. city every year. <laughs> I was just thinking about female gluttony and uh, drug use and eating disorders and all that kind of great stuff and thought I'd make a raunchy romantic comedy out of it. So uh, <laughs> I lived in uh, South Africa and I got malaria in rural Mozambique and hallucinated and I hallucinated that I was an actress and that I was really good and won an Oscar. And so then I went back to Australia and started acting classes. I play um, the bridal shop owner, and I'm kind of a hard ass, and I'm kind of mad that they woke me up in the middle of the night. He's very charismatic, and uh, but um, but he's a bit of a douchebag in a fun way. I don't know the script. Well, the script was sort of like the you know the main thing. It was like sort of like all the things that made him douchey were, were in the script. So if I was laughing in the script, I wanted to sort of perform it the way I saw it in my head so hopefully the audience would uh, get the same kicks out of him because you know there's something fun about playing a character that doesn't make any excuses for behaving the way he's behaving. I got a big bad and 